I do want to start by saying the elders' teachings, and many of them teach throughout Canada, and I'm going to make a comment to reflect this very moment. It is to not love is to be fearful, to not be humble is to be self-centered, to not be honest is to be dishonest, to not be courageous is to be cowardly. In my line of work, historically into now, and when I'm in, in circles with indigenous people in communities, elders are very significant. The use of a circle and the teachings and learning to be humble is very significant. I want to start, I want to thank all my honorable colleagues in the House of Commons for their time and for sharing their thoughts on Bill C-369. How we will fulfill the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action requires an active all-party all effort from everyone. And I appreciate that we saw that effort for call to action number 80. We still have a little bit of time before all members gather here to vote on my bill. And I want to take a moment to respond to some of the points of debate that came up. First, as I said a few nights ago, I welcome the amendments to my bill that came from a multi-partisan effort. Make sure this holiday was done in consultation with survivors of residential schools, with elders, with regional chiefs, and with the major national indigenous organizations. The committee was thorough, well-meaning, and ultimately came to the correct decision. June 21st will remain National Indigenous Peoples Day and be celebrated by all Canadians, including First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people from coast to coast to coast. September 30th will now be known as the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, and it will serve as an opportunity for Canadians to reflect on the history of residential <coughs> schools and know the impact of our national shame continues to live in on Canada. I've expressed my concerns about how the government will be honoring this holiday. Yes, a holiday will be created but it is only meaningful if the resources are provided for Canadians to truly understand what that holiday will mean. That means a comprehensive engagement process with federal government employees yeah. to understand how their offices can meaningfully yeah. work with First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people. That means providing funding for cross-country memorial services ceremonies done in partnership with survivors and First Nations, Métis, and Inuit organizations. That means creating culturally appropriate learning materials for education systems across the country so that generations of Canadians will never forget what happened to Indigenous people in this country. We are still waiting for answers to all these questions. Mm -hmm. Second, there has been some conversation about replacing other holidays that already exists? That's a fair question, but a debate that should happen at, at a different time. Generations of Indigenous people have been told time and time again that they are in the way, that their concerns are secondary to everything else going on in Canada. For generations, Indigenous people have been left out of political processes, left out of decisions that affect their way of, ways of life, left out of decisions that say what languages they can speak and what gods they can pray to. If members of this House want to discuss the number of holidays in Canada, that debate should not be associated with the importance of this bill. The loss of a colonial hol holiday should not come at the expense of survivors and Indigenous people gaining a holiday. I refuse to believe that this holiday will bear the weight of inconvenience to a colonial system. As a final thought, Madam Speaker, I want to return to the positives of this bill. Because far too many of our conversations rely on reliving trauma and discussing the problems in our, in our First Nations, Métis, and Inuit communities. This bill will not solve the housing crisis Indigenous people live through, 
It will not fix the overrepresentation of indigenous children in foster care. It will not close the education gap that leaves indigenous children behind. But it will give Canadians the opportunity to fully understand why those problems exist. It will give space and time for this government to reflect on its failures and remind themselves why it's so important to work for and with Indigenous people every other day of the year. Progress will take time, Madam Speaker, but through my bill, we're taking the time to make progress and moving forward. Thank you. It being 6.29, the time provided for debate has expired. Accordingly, the question is as follows. Ms. Jolibois, seconded by Ms. boutin Sweet, move that Bill 369, an act to amend the Bills of Exchange Act, the Interpretation Act, and the Canada Labour Code National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, be now read a third time and do pass. The pleasure of the House to adopt the motion. On division? No. All those in favor of the motion will please say yay. All those opposed will please say nay. No. Uh, in my opinion, the yeas have it. Uh, pursuant to Standing Order 98, the recorded division stands deferred until Wednesday, March 20th, 2019, immediately before the time provided for private members' business.